This time it's personal, right, Steve Nobiello? <laughs> we have been flipping through old photos, including both of yours, to say the least. From big dresses to even bigger hair, blue tuxes and white tails, your Fox 4 favorites have a special invitation for you to join them at their senior prom. It's that magical moment meant to make memories that last a lifetime. On the silver screen, like in the 1980s Teen Titan, Pretty in Pink, the prom always seems to have a storybook ending. The worst prom story. I just remembered it. But our team tells a different story. My prom date was, was Melody. From what they can remember. His name? Sorry, don't remember his name. Al something. Senior year? Well, yeah. Randy, my boyfriend who was the manager at McDonald's. <laughs> Stylin' Steve Eager, decked out in white tie and white tails, still remembers his prom date's name. Her name was Michelle Salmon, like the fish. Today, she's Michelle Eager. Steve married his high school sweetheart. And maybe the white tux really worked. The other couple they went to prom with is also still married today. Hmm, you know, quaint. Of course, it wasn't true love for everyone. I went with a guy named Darren, Darren Van Delden. Debbie Ream. And we were high school sweethearts. Debbie and I had a fair amount of Colt 45 malt liquor. And that was like our third year of dating. It stayed in my system for a while. Uh, and then he proceeded to dump me the next year. And then did. Natalie Solis and John Hammerly found only temporary ties with their dates. When I see Dan Godwin's prom picture, I have flashbacks. In those days, you, you know, you go into the, prom, the tuck shop and you can have a choice between the uh, crushed burgundy or the avocado or the uh, bright gold or the powder blue. So given those options, I thought, well, I'll, I guess the blue. Not too body fitting, but just enough at that age to where you were like, I love this dress. <laughs> It's all about the dress, and I'll tell you this. I wore a gold lame poofy dress to my prom. Who decided that was okay? Mom still maintains to this day that that was a beautiful dress. <laughs> no, Mom, it wasn't. <laughs> it looks like I should be standing on top of a wedding cake. I was probably one of the strangest dressed people at that prom that night. My biggest idol, Alice Cooper. With a top hat, cane, glove. Alice Cooper, see you on tour pretty soon. Melissa Cutler dressed as a 1920s flapper in her hair. That's a feather. That's a giant feather going over like just like that. Ah, oh, there must have been a theme. There was no theme. No, just a high school senior <laughs> declaring her independence. Here it is. Heather Hayes still has her old dress. I can't believe I still have this dress. Although it's not from her senior prom. She was an underclassman when she wore it. I don't have a prom story. I didn't go to my prom. Nobody asked me to my prom my senior year. Here she is going with her brother's friend to his prom. Does that count? And I love, love my Minnie Mouse shoes, the white shoes that I have on. <laughs> and this year's prom queen. Just like in Never Been Kissed, the real movie magic always comes at the end with the crowning of the queen. And while we had no royalty that we can remember, we sure came close. My boyfriend was always named the king. Me? Not the queen. But by default, I'd get to have to dance with him. <laughs> Oh, very nice. More prom picks, including my own, along with talent trivia right now at myfoxdfw.com. You'll find out whose dress was so big she couldn't even fit in the limo, and who wound up with uh, vomit all over his shoes by the end of the night. Log on and check it out. All right.